We have Jesse Bam Rodriguez, who is getting ready for one of the most anticipated fights of the year in the lower weight divisions against Sonny Edwards, December 16th. Bam, you're in the thick of training camp right now, preparing for what is another tough opponent for you. You, you seem to always embrace these tough, tough challenges. Why was Sonny Edwards the perfect fit for you outside of the fact that you're unifying the division? Uh, just because these are the kind of fights boxing needs, the best versus the best. We're both young, both undefeated, both hungry, so these, these kind of fights, these kind of style matchups, they just work out perfectly for the sport of boxing. You have a very fan-friendly style. I think 2022 and 2021 breakout years for you, really, just with your dominant performances. What have you been uh, gleaning from those experiences and bringing into this camp? Um, I just, um, you know, the, the victories I had in those two years, I realized what, what they brought to my life um, outside of the ring. So I know this fight is, you know, even 10 times that. So winning this fight would just change my life forever. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're also going up and down divisions. Uh, how much longer do you think you're going to be out if you unify the division? How much longer do you think you're going to be competing? I feel like maybe this is probably my last fight at 112 and then go back up to 115. Mm -hmm. I, I know 115, Chocolatito, I know you have a really yeah. special relationship with him too. Is that a fight you would ever consider? Um, probably not. Um, Mr. Honda, I don't think he would like that. So. If be very hard to get it past him and like you said we have a lot of respect for each other so I don't think it'll ever happen but there's a lot of other big names at 115 do you you know we see guys like Devin Haney go straight up a division fight someone like a Regis Progre yeah. you fought at 115 before too do you think you would need to get a, a feel a, a comfortable fight or are you are you ready to go straight to the top again and fight someone like Estrada? Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go, you know, to 115 and fight whoever. I'm not here to take any tune-up fights or just take any easy fight. I'm here to fight the best uh, every fight. And for the rest of my career, that's how it's going to be. Uh-huh. So Estrada is someone you would consider right off of the get-go? Of course, yep. You know, he has my belt now, my, my WBC that I vacated, so I want to get that back. And th that is a... a a fight that could very well be made with Matchroom, yeah. with your ties to the promotion too. Uh, perhaps a big fight in Mexico, big fight in Arizona. Yeah. Uh, this fight is in, uh, you're a Texas boy, San Antonio, but this fight is in Arizona. Uh, have you felt the fan base building for yourself, the support? Yeah. Do you, do you get more recognition now after your, your uh, breakout performances? Yeah, for sure. Um, I have a lot of people hitting me up that they're going to the fight to support me, to watch me fight. So, you know, those, those victories I had in the, in the past few years, they, they, really, um, they really made my fan base grow. And I just appreciate every, everyone that supports me. Mm -hmm. Sonny Edwards, he's a very slick, different kind of fighter. His... His knockout ratio isn't there. He seems yeah. he seems to uh, be a, a, a prolific boxer, but not a actual power puncher. How are you preparing for his style? Um, we've been watching film. I've been, I've been studying him. So we, we've been working in the gym. I'm not gonna say too much on what we're gonna do and how it's gonna play out, but just know at the end of the fight, my, my hand will be raised in victory. Mm -hmm. Your coach, Robert Garcia, what have you guys been working on throughout this camp? Uh, we've been working on a lot of things. Um, December 16, you'll see what we've been working on. Mm -hmm. the, uh, w when you go through uh, training camp like this for a big time opponent, how different is it than, let's say, some of the lesser opponents you face? W when the stakes are this high, title unification fight, uh, w what's different? Um, I wouldn't say not too much is different. You know, I take every fight serious. I take every fight as if it's a title fight. I've been like that since my pro debut, so this is no different, but just, you know, what's on the line, it's a, it's a lot more at stake, so I'm, I'm just, you know, a lot more motivated. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you, you talk about going back up to 115. Uh, I'm sure you want to have some unfinished business as well, too, with Ioka uh, to <laughs> take care of uh, uh, the Settle the Family feud. I know your brother, obviously, has been in the ring with him. Is Ioka another opponent that you would want right off the get-go? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll fight any champion I want to team, but right now my main focus is, you know, Sonny Edwards. I'm not going to look past this fight. Mm -hmm. It's a very tough fight, so 100% focus on this one. He's a very, he has a very interesting personality and uh, charisma, yeah. at least online. 
I don't know if you've got a chance to interact with him in person. What, what do you make of that? Just as uh, I guess uh, personality. Uh, I mean, he is who he is. You know, he's a he's a character. We actually did come face to face, but he was a whole different person. Like he was just, you know, very respectful, very, very kind, very friendly. But I'm not gonna let that get to me. You know, I see what he says online, so. I, I mean, I just can't wait to get in the ring when, when it's all said and done. I'm just, I'm ready to fight. You know, uh, last year you were building on that fighter of the year resume. This year, you just haven't been as active. What are your goals for 2024? Um, 2024, I want, I want to be more active. You know, I wasn't active this year because I had a jaw injury in my last fight, so that's why I was out. But I feel like if that didn't happen, I would have had three fights again. So it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the jaw injury. Obviously, it is something that required uh, for you to recover from. H how are you now? Is it back to 100%? Yeah, it's good. Um, I already sparred. I've been sparring for like a few weeks now, so I'm ready. My, my jaw is good. I was a little nervous at first taking that first punch, but when, once I took it, I was good. Mm -hmm. Since then, I, I've been good. You, you've also proven that the smaller weight, uh, actually putting the smaller weight guys uh, on the map yourself by taking these big fights. Yes. Unfortunately, throughout the other divisions, the the fights fan the fights the fans want to see don't get made. What is your message to all the guys who are fighting on social media and not in the ring? Uh, you know the, the the tanks, the Shakurs, the Haneys. Uh, they're not really fighting each other, but they, they they seem to be fighting on social media all day. Yeah, I mean, if that's what they want to do. And I have nothing to say about that. I just mind my business. I do what I got to do. And I don't pay any attention to it, honestly. When they do fight, I watch it. But all the social media stuff, I, I stay away from it. I know you have a, a, a quiet demeanor on social media. But um, for fans who are not too well aware of you, how do you how do you want to introduce yourself? Um, like in, in the ring or just like... In general. A, I mean, I'm just a chill, chill person. Um... I mean, you got a you got an interesting interesting yeah. uh, character here. You got uh, I mean, stuff I, you usually don't see. I, I like I like cool things. Whatever catches my attention, uh, I mean, I, I like it. But I just stay out the way and do what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the current state of boxing right now. Who who are the fighters you like to watch? Um, Shakur, Haney, um, Lomachenko. Tank. I like watching my boy Barrios as well. I mean, this, I can go on and on, you know. I'm a, I'm a fan of boxing. I like watching it, so I can't really give you, you know, everyone that I watch. But I, I do, I do have a lot of fighters that I like to watch.